got the pass here and we are going in. Do you know where the VIP is? VIP? VIP? Okay, VIP? You're not coming here. taking me uh, out today it's my last day here in Saudi Arabia brilliant night last night with a fight what do you think Ad? It's, uh, Ahmed what it, do you think of was. the uh, event obviously it was one of the first boxing event here in uh, Saudi Arabia yeah as the first uh, boxing event it was an amazing event and I, I really enjoyed my time I didn't notice about it without you telling me um, but it was amazing new new event uh, in the country something i didn't imagine myself to see here as uh, i love boxing since i was little um uh, had a wonderful time so what about like you're saying about the women could go on this event as well this is the second time that the women are allowed to uh, attend events now in what was the other one the one, the other one that had the, it was I think WWE, WWE. Yeah, the fighting one, yeah. and uh, it was amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, cool. It's a, it's a new. Um, you met what are you think? You met Nassim Hamid as well over the last few days, which was a nice. Uh, it was amazing. amazing. As, as long as I wanted to see him in the UK, but it didn't happen. Lovely to see him here in Saudi. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be off, mate. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go for. I'm gonna show you Jeddah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Yeah. The theme park here in Saudi Arabia. We have the beach. What's this called? This. The main, park, main uh, part of uh, Jeddah, where people in the weekends you can you find it full. So just come down to check. Yeah, 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 they come by the beach, sit yeah, the beach. barbecue and so on. Cool. Yeah. That's the tower I told you about. I was gonna say, so that's an old theme park. Yeah, yeah. They're all, they think it's closed. It's being closed. Yeah, right. Exactly. See that place? They they 
rent it on the for days, you know, with this private swimming pool by the beach from the other side. This whole thing is uh, new. They did uh, for people to walk and cyclists and uh, um, the cars, they separate the roads. Yeah. It used to be one, to, uh, three lines going, three lines, uh, two ways, you know? Yeah. And now they add this in the middle. So people can have a walk, yeah. Yep. This is a mosque, an old one. Yeah. Very old mosque by the beach. <coughs> These are offices in this building. By the Hilton. Hilton is that. Is it? Um, is that other building in the back? Can you see that? Oh, yeah. I think you can see the H. Uh, yeah, logo. you can see it now in the back. That's the Hilton, and the one before this building is the Sofitel Hotel. The tall one? No, not the tall one, the one before the small oh, one. Right. Short one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sofitel. Oh, yeah, Sofitel. New buildings coming up. So these are, these are flats here as well? Yeah. Apartments. Oh, there's new buildings here, there's new flats being built? Yes. That's what I mean, people change, uh, I mean, there are changing in mentality, people start walking. Yeah, I mean, when you find a place to walk, you're gonna walk, right? Yeah. So but they never used to be able to walk down there? If you don't have a, a prepared place, where, where would you walk? Yeah, on the street? Walk, yeah, on the road. No. Plus, the weather doesn't help no. you to walk. It's not like London, and you can walk inside the, uh, inside the roads and by your house or whatever. Walking needs to be safe, um, cycling as well. This is not a, a tree, the one on the right. This is not a palm tree, it's a, yes. it's a telephone tower. <laughs> right. Yeah, you can see the... the oh, you can see on the top. Yeah, on the top, yeah. But they did it as a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of walk along that. The Nice All the way long, the whole there. beach. Yeah, if you're living here, you can it's come and walk again. here. Yeah. If you're living at the back, by the beginning, you can walk. And it's all about walking, but people are skating. You can see this guy skating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Families can walk so comfortably. That's the Sheraton Jeddah Hotel. Me personally, I've never walked here. <laughs> Just to let you know. How long is it? Um, I have no idea to be honest, but all the way long. Um, as you can see, how we've been driving for the last yeah, couple of miles, couple of miles, and uh, it's still going on and on. I think uh, for more a bit, a bit further. This Starbucks on the right hand side. Um, the bikers got motorcycles mm. they usually come here to meet me personally I right. come here you see these plots on the, le on the yeah. left yeah, these yeah. are the bikes right. um, bikers where they can uh, park this is a very old theme park it calls Abama oh yeah 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 and these small uh, you see to here and it ends I think for a couple of uh, meters and then it's the end for us. The, no more because uh, the, the road gets tight on the front. Right. Buildings are so close and the beach are closer. See this is another tower <laughs> this tree. Oh yeah yeah. Just not a real palm tree. Palm tree. 
So what's that area over there, which has got a fence around it? This is a football pitch. Oh, right. Yeah. They rent it per hour, as they do in the UK. Yeah, yeah. It's called the Farsi Tower, this one. The orange and silver. This is a new building. Around 70 floors. See to here and it ends. The right, uh, so okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The last to yeah. here and then that's it. I think it's not less than 70. That's the entrance. Oh, I can't go in the way. So, <clears throat> this is a palace. It goes all the way from there. Really? Side. Yeah. Not a while, like in less than two minutes. So, is it occupied now? Um, yeah. Part of the family living here. Right. This mosque, they put it outside the wall, so people who can, who's driving, passing by, they can stop and pray. So is there any images of the actual palace inside? Um, I have Must no be idea. something online, is it? Yeah, to here, look. That's the end of the palace? Yes. Holy shit. That's big. Yeah. So at you and Owl Bake. If you haven't been to an Owl Bake, you haven't been to Saudi Arabia. This is the equivalent of McDonald's. It is, really. Yeah. yeah. Fried chicken. So, here we go. This was 12 quid. Is it good? 12 quid, 12 quid. Almost, yeah. More than less. So, we got full soup. We've got chicken, chips. We got that's like chicken. Yeah, it's like shrimp, chips. And it is non stop. Just on my way uh, back to London and then um, I'm gonna fly back to Vegas. But um, I've had a fantastic trip here in uh, Saudi Arabia. The people have been so hospitable. Yeah, everybody uh, been, you know, they can't help you enough here. And uh, I just had a really good time. Obviously, I think before you come out, there's always a, a worry, but it's been brilliant. Right, sir. I've also made a lot of new friends here, which is nice. Uh, some guys that live, there's one or two British guys, some um, Saudis that uh, live and work in London as well, have got businesses and stuff. So it's been brilliant. Al Bake is back. He's even, they're even in the airport. Equivalent to KFC, McDonald's, whatever. There's 80 all of these in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. If you haven't been to one of these, you haven't been to Saudi Arabia. Just eating a sandwich in the lounge cafe in Saudi Arabia. Look at that. Just like London. On our way to the plane, had a lovely conversation with Jeff Powell from the Daily Mail. Um, just about heading back. Here we go.